My dear friends in Christ, it's a delight to have you with me. Thank you for joining me to reflect on the Gospel of Matthew chapter 17 verse 1 to 9. And the theme is the transfiguration of Jesus to be in God's favour. Psychology tells us that positive affirmation is important for self-esteem and well-being. To be affirmed is to receive confirmation of one's good behaviour, quality of work or effort. Positive affirmation helps build one's sense of dignity and self-worth. It is wonderful feeling to have in life to be able to see favourably by a significant other like a parent, a spouse or a boss. Sometimes simple words such as good job or well done, I'm proud of you are all it takes to help someone feel confident about themselves. Kind words don't cost much but they pay huge dividends in fostering good relationships. In the Gospel for the second week of Lent, we are given a glimpse of the divine favour that rests on Jesus. We hear God the Father affirm, This is my Son, the Beloved. He enjoys my favour. Listen to Him. While Jesus doesn't need affirmation from God, for us, this divine revelation is so important and means so much. Here we can draw four lessons from God's words to us. First, God is like a cheerleader at a sports match. He is there also to beat the drums and to encourage us to keep our adrenaline pumping when our spirit is flagging. He is saying, don't give up, you can do it. And second, God affirms the divine identity of Jesus as the Son of God. We must keep this in mind and know who we are dealing with and not lose faith in Him. If Jesus is the Son of God and is with us, what have we to fear? Third, we are always invited to be in God's favour. How can we win His favour? By listening to God's voice and obeying His will. Jesus will count us as one of His own if we do the will of His Father as He clearly tells us, Whoever does the will of my Father who is in heaven and follows me is my brother and sister and mother. And last, we are invited to listen to Him. Let us not have the selective, selective hearing of those who do not want to heed sound advice. Indeed, we do well to be attentive to the call of the Good Shepherd so that we may respond to his guidance promptly and di diligently. During this Lent, let us seek God's favour and know that God will always be favourable to us even when we have lost favour in the sight of men. And with that, I have two questions for reflections. The first is, what kind of what kind words of encouragement can I give to someone whom I know is feeling down? The second, how can I listen better to God speaking to me in my life and be willing to do His will? With that, I invite you to pray together with protection, together with Mother Mary. O Mary, you shine continuously on our, in our, on our journey as a sign of salvation and hope. We entrust ourselves to your health of the sick, at the foot of the cross, you participated in Jesus' pain with steadfast faith. You, salvation of the Roman people and of the whole world, know what we need. We are certain that you will provide so that as in Cana of Galilee, we may return to joy and feasting after this moment of trial. Help us, Mother of Divine Love, to conform ourselves to the Father's will and to do what Jesus tells us. He who took our sufferings upon himself and bore our sorrows to bring us through the cross to the joy of the resurrection. We seek refuge under your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our pleas. 
we who are put to the test, and deliver us from every danger, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. And may God bless of you, all of you, and certainly when we do God's will, we will be sure that we enjoy God's favour as Jesus did. Have a good day.